Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are back in our Rags to Riches Hardcore series, back at Somerset Farms. Day 3, late summer. Uh, quickly check the jobs. We do have a harvesting contract here for field 34. Let's take that. I know it's not a lot of money, and neither of these two, but uh, we need money coming in. So let's go field 8, field 32. Uh, there's a few cultivating jobs which are not really worth it at the moment, um, so I'm not going to worry about those, but harvest field 34. Actually, so where's field 34? Uh, down through here. It's pretty good. We shouldn't be... It shouldn't take us too long to get there, so what I need to do is jump in our bison, lift up the front head up, and we can head down there. Now, the trailer that I had spoke to the shop about for $9,000. Um, unfortunately, we just didn't have the money to be able to purchase that one. So he's given me an option for another one. Um, a little bit smaller, it's like 11,000 litres or something, which I purchased from him this morning. Um, seeing as though we've got this harvesting job. So that's down at the shop. I think it's a Fort Street um, trailer. I said five and a half six thousand dollars I think it was um, so we got that purchased it's um ready to be picked up I guess we just need to go down and go down and grab it but um go and start working on the field first let's try and get across in front of this guy gotta be careful here too because this it's a little bit wide I probably need a um the header trailer for this, but I don't know. Yeah, I can attach one at the back there. Let's see if they have any available for this guy. Uh, well, yeah, I guess this one would work. Potentially. It's only a dollar. How far away? Uh, we're not really anywhere near the shop, are we? Not really. Um, I don't know why it's so cheap either, to be honest really weird that it's so cheap. But we could maybe look at that. I think that'll be better for us to be driving along these roads with. I don't think it's a good idea having the header in the front, especially on the main road back there, because it's likely that we're going to potentially have an incident and unfortunately hit someone. So we need to be pretty careful. Um, Alright, so we don't need to unfold or anything. No, good. Just need to start her up and start harvesting. Spots like this, tight, tight spots we need to be careful of. So, field 34 is just on our right hand side, just down the bottom of this hill. This is where we're going to start, this will be our first field. So, talking to Mike um, about, our, about our money troubles, not really troubles, but us wanting to bring in some more money a bit quicker than what we have been. Um, I've sort of been discussing with him the option to be able to buy a grass field before we purchase um, a, prob a like a full, you know, field like this. Because having a grass field is going to allow us to be able to cut the grass, collect the grass, take it to the VGA. Um, discussing with the BGA as well um, the possibility for us to be able to use their silage bunkers so we can take our stuff to their silage bunker, we can cover it, leave it there um, and then turn it from silage into to cash hopefully All right, let's um go like this, to stable the straw swath actually really cool, it's got this camera first person and then like above first person view which is pretty cool well I do like this view although we're missing bits and pieces try not to miss anything because we can actually make decent money out of any excess crop that we don't need to actually sell as part of our contract so I think try not to miss any would be amazing let's have a bit of a screenshot here Perfect. So yeah, so first person looking down. Oh, this one looking down is much, much better. It's actually really cool. 
certainly like this view. I haven't seen it before on any other harvesters either, so it's quite unique by the modder to actually implement a view like this. It's actually really cool. Um, one thing I've sort of thought about as part of a future Rags to Riches or a Let's Play series or a challenge series is to have a rule where we have first person only. So no view like this at all, it's all first person, which would be quite interesting. Um, you guys let me know what you think, whether it would be worthwhile doing that or not. Um, so I think it'll be a pretty cool idea to do first person only. It'll make it a much more challenging too. Certainly when you've got um, bigger equipment like bigger cedars, bigger bigger um, you know, cultivators and flowers and stuff and oh that was a bit of lag. Um, yeah, bigger flowers, bigger cedars, that sort of stuff to make it a lot more a lot more challenging. Certainly trying to make sure you're not you know wasting too much time by going over the same spot more than once. Certainly with um, spraying and lime spreading and that sort of stuff as well when you're you know spreading fertilizer 32 meters wide it's going to be really hard to actually make sure you're not overlapping all the time. Alright so how are we going with this field? I think we're doing pretty good. We're nearly we're just over halfway full of the harvester. I want to make sure I'm not really missing too much. I want to get this little bit here. That's probably not going to matter too much but I certainly want to try and avoid missing too much because if we do then we're probably going to you know, shoot ourselves in the foot by not having a full harvest. We can't afford to miss any. Right, so what we'll do is we'll cut this row and then we'll start working up and down from this far end, the biggest end we've got. So we're 60% full. So I'd say it's going to take yeah, definitely two full loads of the harvester, I'd say. Potentially two and a bit. Or yeah, two full loads and an extra bit. Alright, so another run down. I'd like to have these things, as you guys already know, down the bottom left-hand corner where the map is. We put it at 90 degrees and just drive straight. I like it having square fields like that. This makes it so much easier, but... I don't think it's going to matter too much doing jobs like this. Um, let's have a look at this. So it's only $935 for this job. So we're not making much money really. Like that $50,000, $60,000 we spent on this harvester. Technically we probably could have saved that and um, spent that on buying a grass field. But I certainly like the idea of having you know, our own harvester and that sort of stuff certainly sort of the direction that I want to go. And this thing really wasn't that expensive to be honest. It wasn't overly priced as far as harvesters go. I said 30000 for this and then just the header was I think 27 So the header's probably you know, more expensive than the bloody harvester considering what it actually is. Um, it's quite an expensive little header but must have been refurbished or something because it's cutting cutting pretty well. 89% so we're not far off being full. So we've got our arm out ready to go. We need to go and pick up our tractor and head back down to the shop. Grab the trailer that's down there waiting for us, the one that we picked up this morning. remember how much this takes, 3600 litres I think, or was it three and a half? I think it was closer to three and a half, 3600. 3540, there we go. Right, we'll definitely make sure we shut this guy down. Alright, jump in now, Zetor Z8601-134 with our new engine cover and stuff on the front which makes it look a lot better. And we'll head down to the shop. So this field here, like, oh, I really want to get this field. 
turn it into a decent grass field like we had before and sort of go from there but yeah it's just money we don't have at the moment it really is so while we're down here we might take a look at that um, header trailer too and um, see if we can't organize that maybe get that delivered if we can to the farm or delivered to the field we're working on um, if you know for a dollar it's pretty cheap I wonder does this cost us yeah it costs us money to paint it because I'd like it to be like a red color but obviously we don't have red so it is what it is I'm pretty sure um, in the catalog that we were given yeah the old Fort Shrite or Fort, Sh Fort, Sh Fort Shrite Harvester was in here too, but as you can see, 89,000 plus a header. That's why I decided to go with the Bison. It's just a lot cheaper, and we'll be able to get it a lot quicker. Some of these houses here, nice, nice little houses. They're all the same, but like a little subdivision sort of whacked in there. Just for all the locals. So yesterday we um, had lunch with with um, Mike again. Had nothing else to do in the afternoon so Mike invited us down to the pub and of course we had a few beverages as you do and a bit of a hangover early this morning when we got up but not feeling too bad at the moment. Getting stuck halfway through our first job. It's going to help help to get rid of um, the hangover I think. Mike, Mike was still in bed when we left so he probably won't get out of bed till early afternoon I would say then probably have dinner with us and head back to the pub I guess. Certainly um, seems to enjoy his drinking now that he's retired or retired he's um, drinking a lot more than what he used to. Alright so we'll turn into the shop just here. Our old trailer's still sitting over there. Our old logging trailer. So we could probably even sell that and get rid of it, like we're not really using it at the moment, so that's a possibility to get rid of it. I was hoping to get our seeds loaded up onto it and take them back to the farm, but um, it's just really not much point, I don't think. So let's um, let's load this guy up. He's got another hitch at the back, which is pretty good. I wonder if this trailer's got a hitch at the back as well, that would definitely help. Um, I think it does. We should be able to hitch up um, the header trailer, potentially. Oh, can we? Oh, wrong one. Um, sell. Yeah, we didn't use it that long. So we sell that back. We don't really need it. Let's go in and grab our. Um, had a trailer. Nice and cheap, only a dollar. Now let's see if I can somehow back this thing up to where I want it to go. Yeah, look at that. That is perfect. It's going to save us two trips. It's really good. At least we know we can get a second trailer on here, but we're really not going to need one. I so said I think this thing's got like 11,000 litre capacity, so it's pretty decent. Not as big as the one we're going to get, but... Oops, sorry, there goes your stone work. Um, not as big as the one we're going to get, but still pretty um, pretty decent. Oh, I need to take a, a really wide berth here, make sure we don't cut through that corner. Oh, perfect. Throw our hazards on, we've got a bit of a long load on at the moment. Tractor still seems to be pulling up through pretty easily. So our other jobs for today, I said harvesting, two fertilising, there's a couple of cultivating but they're really not worth us doing them I don't think. Um, if we get that board we probably could probably go and do them but I'm probably going to lose more money and fuel than we're going to gain from the contract to be honest. Alright, so when we tip off our last load, we're tipping off right near home anyway, so 
it's not too far to travel. Get back home, pick up our sprayer and go and spray these other two fields and that should be pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll get down here, we'll drop this header trailer off, unload the harvester and then we might go into a bit of a time lapse and get this field finished and then um, do our two fertilising jobs as a time lapse as well and then come back to you guys next episode and see where we're sort of at after that and see what sort of money we have and I need to look into our grass field and where we can purchase it that sort of stuff so um, right here guys we'll, we'll end the episode here as I said going to a bit of a time lapse if you guys enjoyed this one as always smash that like button leave a comment let me know what you think of the series so far if you want to see it continue if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.